Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to share a file or a particular text on another uh, or on other apps like Gmail, WhatsApp, or SMS or over Bluetooth from your Android app. So let's begin. So basically, we will try to show how to add that share button which you would have seen in many commercial apps. So I'll just quickly show you how to do it in a very simple way. So your name of the application you can give anything shared uh, uh, button uh, my app you can name anything it doesn't matter and just click finish let it create the environment the environment is created it will come like this in your Android Studio so before we begin anything we will in manifest file very quickly we will like to add certain permissions which the users of this app may need and that's one is like uh, i think lead should be fine we may add right external storage also and why we are putting read uh, external storage is because we will be accessing a file I, i'll show you a pdf file in this particular app so we will we will be accessing a pdf file to share it across uh, or, or, or over other apps like WhatsApp or Gmail or something like that. So let's see. In terms of layout, I'll uh, keep it simple uh, as I usually do. So I'll keep or uh, put uh, probably a couple of buttons. So first button will be to share file. So 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 I just want to show you the code part and I, I don't want to spend too much of time on uh, layout. And here I'll put a shared text. So. You can make, of course, you can uh, make make this UI as per your requirement, and but but I'll keep it just simple and uh, stupid. You can say, okay. And once done is there are few warnings, and those would be mostly hard for a text as you expected. So you can just click fix, and it will automatically create the respective string uh, resource for this uh, text whatever we have used here. I can just quickly show you where it gets created. So I think you have to go to values and then this is strings.xml. These are the uh, uh, text what we used and that's get uh, that that gets created here. Okay, I close it. I go back to my layout. I think layout is more or less done. Manifest file is also done. In Java, I think to start with, uh, first uh, we can ensure that whatever the permissions which we have defined in manifest file, we take it from user in the own create method itself. For that, what we'll do is we'll just put activity compact dot request permissions and then my this can be this only and we have to probably form a string and here we can ask the permissions which we need. So the permissions which we will need is manifest dot permission dot read external storage and similarly we will need manifest dot permission dot write external storage and the last argument will be the permission granted so you can use the package manager and dot permission granted I think I should have used the Oh no, not denied, of course. Granted, yes. We can shorten this. You can just hover on this uh, and uh, press Alt Enter and then add the static import. So this will uh, add uh, import for this particular thing over here, like this. And similarly, we can do it for write also. And we can add a static import and this write external storage comes up. So this line gets a bit more shorter and more elegant when when you have lots of permissions then it's better to import it like this otherwise you can choose yeah okay so before we proceed some certain things more we may have to define one is like a vm policy so what we will be doing is we will be sharing the uh, file from outside of this particular app so you have to define the vm policy stick mode dot VM policy and then we can use builder and uh, this will be builder equal to new stick mode VM policy that's it I guess and then we can quickly made it strict 
more dot set VM policy so that to for trade policy and so yeah I mean that that also many times I use in my other apps so these things are generally not recommended but you can use it as a hack where otherwise it will give an error in your app that uh, the file can't be accessed uh, outside of this particular app so for that there are other workarounds which are lengthy I want to keep it short and simple in this video so that's why I just put it and it will ensure that the policy is not very rigid uh, for this app VM policy and uh, it is allowed to be shared okay also what else we will need is we will need to create our uh, that file string file path so this will be the my file path and here I can take the file path using environment dot say for example get external storage I think it's deprecated but that's fine for the time uh, and what else uh, probably I will just use it. so this will give me the path of the directory uh, of, of the uh, file and then I can use the file dot separator and then I can use the file so I have already downloaded a file called test.pdf in this particular location I'll show you once the emulator starts and I think more or less that's all is what we will need here now what else we will need is we will need to create uh, two call on click methods so I will just create it quickly here uh, public void and this first button could be button share file and view view and one more I will create before I start doing some coding is public void button share text so I will show you both how to do it you can do it in one also but I want to really separate it so that I can uh, show you to, uh, very nicely how you can either only if you want to share only text you can use this if you want to share only file you can use this uh, method or you can combine them also also this this method is useful because if you want to share your text over bluetooth some kind of bluetooth uh, chat apps are there then then this is the concept which they follow mostly okay uh, now before I, I proceed I will go back to my layout and very quickly I will put the on click method for both of these buttons so I think this is for text so I will put text here and the other one is for file so I will put the file there perfect and I will just uh, go back to my java code and yeah now you would have seen that this, this method gets uh, dark it was grayed out initially and uh, now it's dark because it's being used there by the button on click method so first I'll do for share file and for share file the code will remain same more or less for both uh, shared file and the uh, text file so first I will uh, start with uh, creating my file variable and file variable will be nothing but new file and here I'll give the path of the string file which we just know uh, took uh, as a class variable okay and before we proceed we, of course we should I think check whether this file exists or not and if it doesn't exist so I'll just put uh, negative then I think I will return it or, or probably you can do some kind of uh, printing also here like uh, we can we can add a toast command here and here this everything else is fine you can just put a toast quickly that file doesn't exist but this, this is an optional uh, step I mean yeah and we can change it from short to long but if it exists then we should uh, create our intent which we will use to share the intent probably uh, I'll just put share and this will be a new intent and then the action will be to send action send this is the action which we will be using and what will be the type of the file so we can use the set type and here you have to be careful so for different types of the file the uh, set types will be different so we will be showing for pdf or doing it for pdf so I'll just uh, use this uh, application PDF for Word. I think it's uh, MS Word comes here for text file is TXT. So it, it depends. You have to check that out. 
or there is a generic command also to find the content type of that uh, file so you can use that as well but here i like to keep it simple and i'll just use the uh, type as a pdf okay now we will proceed and we'll put something probably say for example uh, uh, the file which we have to uh, share so here i will just put extra stream and the file will be ud dot pass and here sorry i think i should have used this and here i can give my file which i just created above i think that's fine so this will ensure that the file which we are which we have selected Okay, here I have hard coded the file path, but you can take it as an input variable from the user, or you, you can have any means to get it. And once we have it, then I think I think more or less we are done. We can just start the activity, and we can start the activity for this particular. You can use this intent dot. There is something called create chooser. So here uh, we have to first give the target. Uh, so we can use our intent share. As our target intent, and then the character sequence, uh, what we want to show it on that. So you can this this is your flexor. So say for example here we can say sharing share the file. So dot dot dot. But but you can type in anything over here, and that's all for this uh, button. Similarly, we can do it for the text format here. We will just copy paste the content. I don't think I need the file. I just need the intent over here. Uh, so we can copy paste this uh, <coughs> things, and of course it won't have this one. Uh, before I get into over here, I'll just comment out. Wait a minute. I, I, I'll first fix this. Uh, the action will be action send, but the set type will change, and set type will be probably it will be text. The, it is a plain text, so we can just type that, or we can write that. So as, as I told initially, also this this is the crucial part to set the correct type of the uh, content which you are planning to send or share. So here it will be a plain text, and then probably what I can do is I can put extra as intent dot. Uh, we can put just uh, or I can first let me see if there is something called subject also. Yeah, subject. So this will help. Say for example, if you are using some kind of email, then you can use this, and then you can type your uh, string, whatever you want to set as a subject. So this will go as a subject of an email, or say for example, uh, uh, yeah, something like that. So my subject here. Again, you can type anything. This is this is, or, and you can take it as an input from the user also, uh, as a from some kind of uh, text text uh, view, or not not text view exactly. It's edit text. And similarly, we can use uh, another one. Uh, instead of subject, we can take the body. I mean, the main part, the main text which we want to send, and that we will ex extra text. And you can again type whatever you want to type here. So my text of the message goes here. Write anything what you want. Yeah. So this is something which you can take as an input from the user, or you can type it anything over here, and that 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 will be the part which will go in your uh, message. So <clears throat> apart from this two, I think more or less we are done. This will be create user, and here it will be of course the same intent. Uh, don't worry, we can create the uh, intent with the same name because these are local to the method in which it's being used, and title we can change for probably here is no more file sharing. Uh, we can use sharing the text. Here, yeah. say share the text. Okay, Sh share the text. Yeah. Okay. So I think more or less we are done. Now we can uh, uh, run it in emulator. So I'll give some time for the emulator to start. So our emulator has come up, and if you notice, it's asking for some permissions. So it's asking whether I have to. Uh, so this 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 uh, pop up is coming because of this line, line number thirty over here. So of course allow it, otherwise it won't work. And once you allow it, then you can see the simple layout. Either of the uh, buttons you can click. We will uh, start with the shared text. So once I click shared text, 
it won't take any or it won't ask any input because we have hard coded everything here but you can see it opens up that floating uh, window wait it gives you an option to choose which app you want to share it share it with so this gmail message there is no whatsapp on other apps because it's an emulator and i don't think i have installed whatsapp on it but it will, it will that those apps will also show it up because this is from the os which is coming up this uh, window uh, we can use gmail to test our app right now on the emulator and what i will be expecting is i was expecting yeah perfect so i was expecting that this line so my subject here that comes here and the other things whatever i've typed here uh, that, that that comes as a body so I, I, uh, so this is a one of the perfect way how you can uh, share it uh, or, or from your app how you can add the share button for the text uh, let's let's go back to the other other button and see if this file sharing works or not and So I will restart my uh, app it should be somewhere and this time I click on the share file and again I can see the options come up of course that SMS option didn't come up because I don't think we can share a file over SMS but other options are there like Google Drive or Gmail and we can see this test PDF which <coughs> the file uh, which we hard coded here has already been attached as an attachment and we can then use it uh, over the, our this Gmail to send it. I think I'll read on this app and I will again show you something uh, more that, that we can use this shared text and probably we can use it for a message also. So we can use uh, new message, left message. I think I'll cancel it and I'll use it again and I'll go to this message and this time probably I'll use new message and let me see. Okay, it's asking. So there are a couple of contexts which already saved in my this emulator. I just use test. And if you see already my SMS is uh, made here and I have to just click SMS send and it will it will send that SMS. Of course, it won't go through. It's an emulator. So it will just stuck. But but I, the idea is very clear here. OK, so that's all. Bef before I close, I'll just quickly like to show the that, that this PDF file which I have taken away. Where does it exist? It, it uh, of course, is there and you can go to your files. And inside files. I think not inside downloads you can go to your external folder and here you can see I have created a few test uh, files so this is the file which is accessing test.pdf so if, if your file is, is in some other location say for example download or something then appropriately choose the uh, path here but more or less the concept remains same you have to give the file path here and then use that same file here and then use an intent to send that over here okay so I hope uh, uh, let me go back to my app yeah so I hope this video is useful uh, just quick summary so in, in on create you have to give permissions for the access of files and then don't forget to define this VM policy uh, over here and then in the file sharing you have to just get the file and then create the intent for the text you have to create the intent accordingly and put this put extra is the uh, key over here and that's all so I, I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.